In this HVACR training video, we're going over how to bend soft copper tubing to the proper measurements, and we're using our lever type tubing benders, our ratcheting tubing benders, our spring benders, and also hand bending. So we're going over up close shots of how to use each of these tools coming up. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you to check out our Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book, our 1,000 Question Workbook, and Quick Reference Cards available over at acservicetech.com. Here we have our Uniwell Lever Style Tubing Bender, and this is a quarter inch, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths. And what I want you to know about this is over here is where your tubing is coming from, and wherever you position this handle is where your tubing is going to bend to. So for instance, if we need to make a 90 degree angle turn at say eight inches we're going to mark this at eight inches this is three eighths od soft copper tube so we marked it at eight inches and so what we're going to do is if we're coming from here we're going to slip it in here and then we're going to make sure that this mark is right on like the edge of this and then we're going to fold this over and once again verify that that mark is in line with the edge of this and what's going to happen is when we're all done we're going to measure from here to the center of our 90 degree bend and it's going to be eight inches still so here we go we're going to bend this right to 90 degrees so as you can see that eight inches is right in the center here we have a three quarter inch OD lever type tubing bender. And basically what you want to think about is this arm is going to be where you're bending the tubing to. So this is where the copper tube measurement starts from. And you're going to put a mark right here and you're going to set it at this 90 degree angle. And you figure that this is where the tube is going. It's going down this way. And so what I have up here is I have a uh, straight edge right here and I'm coming to the center of the tube and we're going to put a mark at 12 inches and that's where I want the center of my bend downward. So we're going this way and then we're going to have another bend going downwards and it should be 12 inches from the center to center. So here we go. So now we're ready. Take our straight edge right in the center of the tube. So we got center to center is 12 inches. Here we have our ratcheting tubing bender and this is capable of bending as small of a tube as 3 8 or up to inch and an eighth. And so inch and an eighth OD soft copper tube that's pretty large. Uh, but in this case we have 3 quarter OD and so we're going to select a 3 quarter mandrel and a 3 quarter cross section. We already have our tube marked so now we're going to put this together. In order to put your cross member in you just place it right over the bolt and then you just tighten the wing nut. Put your mandrel in, and then you see this ratcheting, and then there's a release. Now we're ready. Now we already have our copper tube marked at 9 inches, and 9 inches is the center of where I want the pipe to be at after the turn. So if this is where we're coming from, this is our mark, and what we do is we need to line that mark up with this line right here. So I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but this line, so if we're starting from here, line it up with this line. If you're starting from here, line it up with this line. And when we're done, we're going to still be measuring 9 inches. So right there, right on the line. That's it. So now that we have our, our two bent, what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this and what we're going to do is we're going to take the copper tube and pull it out. And so you just want to make sure that you have a 90 degree angle and the tool should bottom out at a 90 degree. 
And so we're lined up there and we're lined up there, so that's good. And then we just wanna take our measurement and just verify that that's correct. And so we're exactly in the center at nine inches, so that's good. So you just wanna remember that if you are starting on this side and coming this way, you wanna line your markup on the, the ledge right here on this side. I don't know if you can see that or not. And if you're coming from this way and you have your measurement over here where you want the center of the pipe to be, you're gonna line it up on this mark right here. Sometimes you're in situations where maybe you don't have a bender and you're just needing to bend it by hand. This is 5 8 but I've bent up to inch and eighth uh, by hand quite a bit of it actually, and 7 8 In fact, I didn't have a tubing bender when I first started out. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the secret to doing this. And the whole point is that every time when you bend, you do it in a different location so that you don't accidentally kink the, the tubing. And so you just keep shifting where this, where you're pressing in on the tubing at. So you always just are changing that location in order to get to your 90 degree angle. So there you go. If you're worried about kinking the tube, what you could do is you could use a spring type bender and just feed it down over the tube and do the same thing. Now, you can do this a little faster because the springs are going to help you when you're doing your bends. So what's gonna happen is the spring is applying force in order to uh, help the copper tube not push outward. So it's applying force in all directions at the same time. Now, in order to remove this, what you wanna do is you wanna uncoil the spring. And so we're gonna just turn it like this, and that's how we're gonna get it off. But really what we need is we need this pipe to be stabilized and so typically this is gonna be connected to a long line set. So I'm gonna have somebody go ahead and hold this. And then basically what you really wanna do is you're taking this spring, you wanna hold on this side and you're uncoiling it this way. And what this is gonna do is it's going to increase the inside diameter and you should just be able to slide it off like that. So that's the secret with these spring benders. Now here's the difference between these two pipes. This one was the hand bent one and this one was the spring bent. You see the hand bent is a little wider, uh, but there's no kinks, that's not a problem, and that's it. If you're looking for any of the tools that we use in this video, I have them all linked down in the description section below, and make sure to also go to our website and check out all the free resources, such as the articles, the quick tips, the calculators, the quizzes. Also make sure to check out our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book, the thousand question workbook, and also quick reference cards. These quick reference cards are made out of polystyrene, so they'll hold up real well, and they're used for checking the refrigerant charge and troubleshooting. And so you can check all that out at acservicetech.com. We also have these physical products available over on Amazon. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.